Yo, what is up everybody? In this video, we're gonna be talking about polymorphism. Should be pretty fun, so be sure to subscribe if you enjoy. Gosh, what, where am I going? Be sure to subscribe if you enjoy this content, and let's get started. But first, you need to check out our sponsor, DevMountain. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real-world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career-centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. All right, so inheritance, we've talked about it in this series. Basically, an object can have access to properties on the prototype. So for example, we could have teachers and students, and these can both inherit from user if we're creating a website, for example. Now, inheritance works similar in real life, right? So in the Curry family, you know, I grab traits from people higher up in the, uh, the hierarchy, like parents, grandparents, and so forth. So I'll probably go bald, etc. <laughs> Kidding, dad. <laughs> So when people look at me, they can say, oh, it's Caleb, or they can say, oh, it's that Curry kid. <laughs> so I can be treated as myself, or I can kind of be treated as part of this inheritance hierarchy. <laughs> and this is a terrible way of explaining this, so I'm just gonna try to give you guys a different point of view. When we're talking about JavaScript, an object can be treated as the type of whatever it is, or it can be treated as the type of its parent, or its parent's parent. So if we have a student, we could also consider this student to be a user, which makes sense. Both students and teachers are users, at least in our inheritance hierarchy for this particular application. So inside of JavaScript, we'll often have a, a collection of similar items. So think of an array of users. So we might say let users, and we might assign an array to this with some objects inside of it, or we might push objects onto this array but essentially, this array is going to be used just for users, which can include students or teachers. And that's totally fine in JavaScript. In fact, JavaScript doesn't really care. You can put whatever you wanted in this array. <laughs> There's no concept of a typed array, which would be nice. So inside of Java, for example, there's the array list. In C Sharp, I think it's just called the list. These are generic types where you can basically say, I only want to allow users, or I only want to allow students or teachers. Now, although we can't do this exact same thing inside of JavaScript, it's still very common for our lists to contain a similar type, such as all users. So this stuff is still important inside of JavaScript. Now, the beautiful thing with polymorphism is that you can treat numerous different types as if they are one type. So we can treat the students and the teacher both as users. Why is that important? Well, because we can tell these users to do something and because we can override certain methods inside of the, the children, then we can just expect them to do the appropriate thing. So for example, let's say we have a method and it's called work. And we have a list of users, so both the students can work and the teachers can work. Maybe the students will study, maybe the teachers will teach or do research or whatever those professor people do. And using our collection of users, we can just say, yo, everybody in this collection, you guys need to start working. And the students will do the appropriate thing and the teachers will do the appropriate thing. So that's one example of how polymorphism can be useful, but there's lots of other cases you're going to find inside of the object-oriented paradigm. So be sure to understand these concepts and check out the next video because we're going to go through an example of this on the computer. All right, thanks guys. Peace out and be sure to subscribe. Yeah.